I think in, you know, in talking about mental health challenges um, among individuals experiencing homelessness, considering if it's an, um, you know, something that happened prior to homelessness or if it's a, a consequence of homelessness or a mix of the two. So is this, you know, due to a, a lack of affordable and accessible mental health supports for people in Canada and the lack of adequate financial supports for individuals on disability support programs? You know, like, do those factors um, increase the risk of um, someone experiencing homelessness, right? I think it's also, you know, going back to a previous comment, we also spoke about the lack of adequate discharge procedures that are in place to prevent people from exiting the hospital system into homelessness. So um, that could be another factor where we might see um, a greater proportion of individuals uh, with mental health challenges among people experiencing homelessness as a result of some of these structural and kind of systemic failures that have been, uh, that have emerged. And then, you know, obviously the, the consequence of experiencing homelessness can have a huge impact on one's mental health. Um, experiencing homelessness can be a very traumatic experience, right? You lose housing, it's the experience in the shelter system. We know, you know, we're hearing from media reports that there's more violence in the shelter system. Um, so it's not always a safe place. So, you know, that could lead to feelings of despair or hopelessness, which may translate into feelings of depression or other mental health challenges as well. So, you know, it's, it's really challenging and, you know, there's a lot of weight that's put on you when you're experiencing homelessness. And I think too, it's also to important to consider strengths of individuals as well, right? So I think we've heard time and time again that you have to be incredibly resourceful when you experience homelessness. Um, you know, you, you get to know what services are out there. You talk to other people about uh, what supports they're getting and, you know, maybe how you can access those pieces. It's really your survival instinct kind of kicks in from what I've heard from people who have experienced homelessness. And there's also bonds that are created as well with other people experiencing homelessness. You know, you really kind of, you relate to people going through a similar situation. So you can really kind of find community and I think that's what we're seeing, you know, with the encampments right now um, in Toronto, where people are looking out for one another, even the formation of the encampments, they're in a circle oftentimes, you just kind of see that there's that emotional social support that's being provided that may not necessarily be provided in like the, in the shelter system. So this can often act as a buffer to mental health challenges and really kind of, you know, think about, um, how we support those bonds that are being created in some situations to really kind of help with recovery um, down the road. So, yeah, I think it's, you know, there's definitely challenges and there's definitely, you know, an overrepresentation perhaps of folks with mental health challenges who experience homelessness, but it's also, I think, important to really think about the, I don't want to use the word resiliency, uh, but, the, you know, the strength of people um, who experience homelessness as well.